In an age of doubt, a pious philologist ascended to the office of Hierarch upon discovering a truth that shook the very foundations of the Covenant. He was the last of the Old Guard, the eldest of the Hierarchs that ruled the Covenant during the Great War, and was the second Hierarch to be consumed by the monstrous Parasite. He was born as Hod Romt, but he died as the High Prophet of Mercy. Born 200 years before the Covenant War, the Sanshayum Had Ramt was a skilled politician who eventually became a member of the Covenant High Council. His tenure would be marked by several heated debates with his fellow Sanghili counselors regarding the proper dispensation of forerunner relics. He would also publicly question the wisdom of the Sanshayum demilitarization at the end of the war beginnings. He would eventually leave the political life to explore the spiritual side of the ascetic priest, and by the end of the 23rd Age of Doubt, he became a philologist, leading the ascetic priest in discovering the many secrets within the Forerunner Dreadnought. When the Covenant stumbled upon humanity, he and two other Sanshayum, the Minister of Fortitude and the Vice Minister of Tranquility, discovered a horrific flaw in their religious perspective. The newfound human species were, in fact, the heirs to the Forerunner legacy which meant that the entire foundation of the Covenant was founded in error. To maintain the fragile interspecies alliance, he joined a conspiracy with the two other Sanshayum, and ascended to the Station of Hierarch as the High Prophet of Mercy. Being the eldest member of the Prophet Triumphant, Mercy was well acquainted in the governmental system and history of the Covenant. The three hierarchs then worked together to ensure the Covenant's dominance over humanity, and ensuring that no one discovers the truth behind the Covenant religion. For the next 27 years, the Prophets of Truth and Mercy led the Council in their daily affairs, while Regret spent most of the conflict on the front lines rather than the safety of the capital. In the final year of the war, Mercy presided with his fellow Hierarchs over the trial of Supreme Commander Thel Vadime for his failure to safeguard the most valuable discovery in the Empire, the Sacred Ring, Halo. After Vadime was branded with the Mark of Shame and stripped of his rank and station, the Sanghili was brought before Mercy and Truth in the Mausoleum of the Arbiter. There, the Hierarchs granted Thel the Mantle of Arbiter so that he can regain his lost honor by quelling a heretic uprising on the planet Threshold. Mercy, however, warned him that the task ahead would be suicidal and that he would most likely not return from this mission. Hours later, when the Prophet of Regret foolishly attacked the human homeworld of Earth whilst being severely outnumbered, he sent a formal apology to his fellow Hierarchs, asking forgiveness for his premature attack, and claimed that he was unaware of the human presence on the planet. While Truth wanted to give Regret a public display of their contempt, Mercy's wise counsel stayed his hand. But when the Prophet of Regret was assassinated by the demon on the Second Holy Ring, the Prophets shift the blame to the Songheili, deeming them unfit to protect the Hierarchs, and so they initiated the changing of the Guard, replacing the Songheili Honor Guards with the Jarl Hanai. This sparked chaos among the Council, as the Songheili threatened to resign on the grounds that the Prophets broke a sacred pact that has lasted over 3,000 years. But the Hierarchs ignored their feeble threats. When the Arbiter and the Brute Chieftain Tartarus returned with the Holy Oracle after wiping out the heretics, the Hierarchs plied the Oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, revealed that a sacred icon was needed to activate the Ring. And so they tasked the Arbiter with retrieving the icon so that the Covenant may begin the Great Journey. But during the Arbiter's noble mission to fulfill the Covenant's holy quest, the Prophets of Truth and Mercy enacted the Great Schism, 
for in their minds, the Songhili were not worthy to transcend into godhood, and feared that they might prevent the activation of the Halo. And so they elevated the Jarohanai as the new leaders of the Covenant, and tasked them with executing all Songhili on the orders of the Hierarchs. After Tartarus returned with the activation index, allegedly killing the Arbiter in the process, he gave the index to the Hierarchs upon his return to Hierarchs. High charity. Mercy observed while Truth gave a holy speech proclaiming that the great journey was nigh. Then, suddenly, the demon entered High Charity near the Hierarchs out of nowhere. They escaped the demon's clutches as their Jerohanai guards engaged the Spartan in open battle. As the two Hierarchs were about to depart High Charity to begin their conquest of Earth aboard the Dreadnought and enact the journey, the Flood seemingly found their way aboard the mobile city and attacked the Prophets. Though their Jerohanai guards fought valiantly, a single Infector latched onto Mercy's neck and began devouring him. Even as Tartarus tried to save Mercy, Truth stopped him and left him for dead, becoming the absolute ruler of what remains of the Covenant, stating that, The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you. As Truth, Tartarus, and their human captives left aboard their phantoms, a dying Mercy was confronted by the demon. When the Spartan asked where Truth was going, the dying prophet replied, Earth, to finish what we started, and this time, none of you will be left behind. The demon then violently tore the infector from Mercy's neck, killing him instantly, but saving him from the dark influence of the Flood. However, his corpse would be assimilated into the monstrous grave mind as the parasite consumed the once lush golden city of the Covenant. And so came the passing of the last of the old guard. During his tenure as Hierarch, he was the balance in the triumvirate between the impulsive regret and the cold and calculating truth. This triumvirate endured until regret's death, which by then, Mercy became little more than an advisor to truth as the days of the Covenant drew its end. And when he fell to the Parasite, Truth became the sole ruler of a crumbling empire. But that is a story for another time. Covenant, no matter,